Welcome to the third season of the NIDS Whitelist server. Are you moved it up? What? Are you insane? What? The butt. I didn't do anything. It's not in its tiny parking spot down there anymore, is oh, it? No, well, I had it connected to the connector so that I could sort out the inventory. Ah, how dare you. Because <laughs> somebody had decided they wanted to park it right close to the base. Where it was no good to anyone. Didn't even have the door facing towards the right direction. You, you've got me travelling backwards, you know. Oh. But that's okay. Now, well, you'll see Space Vegas as we're leaving. <laughs> I'm just looking with uh, my third person on. Are you jumping? Just adjusting the butt's jump distance. Mm. Ah, I can hear it firing up. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> All right. Okay, so cockpit. Oh, do you have, how do you drive this thing? It's a passenger seat. It's just a uh, watch and learn. I just need to turn it on beforehand. Come on. I All you need to do is hop into the remote control and you're good to go. So pick a spot on the mean and that's where we'll go. Somewhere that looks like it might have uranium. Okay. And I'm gonna, oops. What did you just do? Did you just, no you didn't exit. No, no, I just tapped out of Space Engineers. <laughs> I thought I'll switch off my hood, but I forgot I had my alt key held down so that I could have a look around. So how does ore spotting work on planets? I've no idea. You should ask one of the planet people. Mm. I imagine they just have a rover, a large one preferably, with an ore detector attached on them. So the ore detector, the large one, has enough range to actually detect any ore that they're driving over. I'm not mm. sure if our small ore detector will do anything good. Mm. Why would you have a rover and not a ship? Um, because flying takes up a lot of energy and uranium is already sparse. Spare Sparse. sparse. No, no, you got it right, sparse. I suppose it would be a good idea to follow the sunny side of the planet, right? Yeah, it seems sensible, doesn't it? Isn't there something about the colour of rocks that tell us if there's, um... That is, unfortunately, not something we have. You see, there are some rocks, yes, they should spawn on the planet's surface, mm -hmm. which you can then mine for things like iron or other resources, mm -hmm. but you can only have them if your flora is turned on. So as they count as trees and stuff like that. Oh, I see. And since we've got that turned off out of performance reasons, uh -huh. we don't have them. Okay. 
So we only have the stuff deep underground. Oh, so we actually... So if a meteor's hit the mean, uh, would it create new ores? That I'm not sure of. Because they, they do with asteroids, don't they? Meteor impacts will create new ores. Well, what about ice? Would ice form on the surface of the mean? Uh, probably not. The mean or moons in space engineers are designed to be mostly stone surfaces. Okay. They're predetermined, just like the planet looks like, well, a planet. Mm. An Earth-like planet. So is there anything that we could look for apart from just a nice flat surface? Because we were... Uh, Orwise? I'm afraid not. Unless, of course, we kind of just hop around the planet's surface to see if the ore detector actually picks anything up. Actually, it's just for, for the record, yeah. could you please go into the control panel and look if the ore detector is actually on and to what distance it's set? Oh, didn't know if that thing. It can set a distance. I don't no, know, I haven't can't. worked with ore detectors in a long time. No, it's on. And it's, yeah, it's fine. It's doing its thing. But yeah, it'll... If the ore is too deep under the surface, then it's not going to show up. And what distance does that thing usually have? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's within the range of 100 meters, 200 meters, something like that. Well, how about we look for... Let's assume that we're not going to find ore. Is that a safe bet? Mm, not okay. sure. Okay. I just need to fly a little risky and closer to the planet's surface to eventually find ore. Okay. For instance, I just found silicone. Oh, so you did. All right, let me, I tell you what, let me get that in my GPS. Uh, that's grid info. Oh, I can't, I have to jump out the ship. Can you let me jump out the ship and I'll mark it? There's nickel. Hold on, magnesium, silicon, nickel. Yeah, yeah, okay, so stop here, let's, let's. Uh, GPS. So we're seeing new from current position. Um, what's silicon? Uh, is it SL? SI. Silicon. Magnesium. Nickel. What's nickel? NI. And this is all on the mean. Okay. Good, good. This is working. I didn't think it was gonna. As you may have being able to tell by my rather sceptical we're not going to find any, let's just... Well, I told you, we probably just need to fly riskier. Uh -huh. And we've just made it awfully risky by losing all sunlight. Well, just go sorry. vertically up. Sorry, sorry, there was probably... I forgot where the sun is. Just go up. I think wherever we build our base, we should make sure that it's on a high point rather than a low point, because that way we'll get sun longer. What we should look for then is the pole of this moon. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean, yes, the sunlight comes in at a very awkward angle, but... Hmm. 
And if we go for the pole that has the nicest view, because surely if one of the poles, we should be I able to... I know which to... one does. Excellent. The one next, the one that's visible from Space Vegas. Mm -hmm. and I'm not sure. I think this one might have... I've never been on a moon's pole, I'm afraid. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that hill there. Can you see that hill to our right? No, no, that's the left. Uh, right, right, right. A uh, hill. Where? Yeah. Uh... I'll jump oh, out. Hold on, hold on, it looks hold like on. ice. Yeah, it is. That must be a pole. Excellent. I knew it was going in the right direction. Mm -hmm. It's that weird spot that you see on the main. Yeah. And do you see that? Just to our right now, there's a rounded hillock of ice. Mm -hmm. It's kind of near a We'll keep that thing. in mind, but mm -hmm. I think it would be best if we just stick to the middle of the pole, as that's where we'll have the most and longest sunlight in theory. Okay. And we can always use the space boat to kind of flatten the surface. Mm-hmm. Then again, remember the starbound archway we built? Oh, we could build in the air? Yeah, we just mm. need to build some stilts. Is that yep. the word? Stilts, that's correct. What about this hill here? Looks marvellous. Yeah, yeah. I like this, actually, because it's like an impact crater. Ooh, yeah, fancy. Ooh, and lots of ice. This is brilliant. I hope we just don't... Own, we only find... I, I, I don't hope we only find ice here. Mm hmm Ooh, coming in a bit hot. I don't want to be like that, but the missus handles extremely well on a planet. I'm currently patting on my own back. Oh, well done. What would you have built if you would have built a ship? It wouldn't really have had much of a hull. Oh. Uh, so it would have been lighter and smaller. It wouldn't have had remote controls and um, antennas and all that kind of thing. It would have been a yeah, just just smaller and lighter, more basic. But that's fine as long as, as I mean it. It handles nice. It's fine. I'm not even seeing ice being picked up by the ore detector. Mm, neither am I so far. Is this really ice? Do you want me to jump out and drill a bit? No, I'm currently landing. Okay. Oops, sorry. <gasps> Why did that happen? Because landing gear? Yep, that is ice. Oh, you sniz. Alright, I don't like landing gears. Uh huh. But I do like this cratery thingy. Right, I'll get my drill out and just see if I'm picking up Ouch. anything. Uh, and why can't I see the beacon? Uh, don't worry, I've got a GPS marker. Oh, of the the mist. Hmm. No, 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 not of the mist. The mist uh, currently doesn't have a beacon turned on. Why? Don't need it right now. Well, how am I supposed to find my way back? Okay, I'm turning it back on. <laughs> Just a second. That's when you need it most, is when you're leaving it, surely. Yeah, why can't I see ice? I mean, I just drilled something and I could pick up ice. Yeah.
Maybe it's so much ice that the ore detector is overloaded. Maybe. Do we have the parts to... Do you currently have any parts in you? Not on me, but in the space, but we do. Nah, uh, great. I need to get back to the space, but to repair the miss. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it could be worse. Yeah, we could be down here and not have any bits. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this, Mia. I think this crater that we're in the bottom of, it, it's maybe a bit bigger than I was thinking. Uh, we should find a hilltop. Yeah, we should. But before we do that, we should bring the space bot into the proximity. Okay. Uh, what I was thinking is if we just decide on where we're going to build, GPS it, and then we can go and get the, the space bot and bring it into the vicinity, knowing that that is the vicinity. Now, if we are on the pole, the sun will be moving sideways. Mm -hmm. And it appears to be. It's not going down, it's going sideways. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Uh, Ouch. Right, let me land on the top of this peak here. How come it's bright but I can't see the sun? Is it that when the sun goes down? Maybe the sun's just below the horizon. Yeah, I think we're still on the edge of the pole. Okay. But it's it's very bright on this hill because I think it's being lit by the planet. Oh, hang on. If I turn off my lights, yeah. I mean, I can still see my... F oh, then it went dark. Then it went light. That's me. Oh, what? What's you? Look at the thing above oh, you. Oh, hiya! <laughs> okay, that was confusing me, it's true. Okay, you can fly me places. Fly me towards the sun. Maybe this peak here? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to go for the entire time. Okay. I just need to stop this thing somehow. Well, you don't need to go to the ground. We can fly. How far away are we from the ground now? Hmm. About 20 meters. Okay, you can literally just hop out now. Yes, I know. But why do you... Well, are you eventually going to hop out? What are you going to do? Um, landing her, kind of. Okay. Can we still... Oh yeah, we can still see Space Vegas very well. And in theory, we could also establish direct communication with the planet. Mm-hmm. There we go. 
We're established. Excellent. Do you have a GPS marker for this? I do. Alright, can I delete the possible mean base thing? You certainly can. So what have we got here? Um, a station block, a reactor, and a beacon. Nice. All of them made out of just one steel plate, because I don't have more, and I don't want to piece out more out mm -hmm. of the little misses. Yeah. 